Hi there and welcome to Website Builder Expert. Today we're diving into a question that I get asked a lot. Squarespace versus WordPress. Which platform should you use to build your website? Whether you're starting from scratch or thinking about switching platforms, I'll walk you through the key differences, strengths and weaknesses of both builders. By the end of this video, you'll have all the information you need to make the best choice for your website. Make sure to stick around for my recommendations at the end and don't forget to check the links in the description down below for free trials, discounts and more helpful resources. All right, let's jump in. Before we dive into specifics, here's a quick snapshot of each platform. Squarespace is an all-in-one website builder that's beginner friendly and offers sleek templates, built-in features and hosting all in one package. WordPress.org is an open source content management system or CMS that offers unmatched customization but requires more hands-on upkeep. So which one's right for you? Well, let's break it down. First up, we've got pricing. Squarespace starts at $16 per month for the personal plan with all features and hosting included. Plus you can try it out with a 14 day free trial before committing. If you're selling online, you'll need the business plan at $23 per month or one of the more advanced commerce plans. This predictable pricing is great for beginners and small businesses. WordPress itself is free, but you'll need to pay for hosting, themes, plugins, and possibly a domain. Hosting costs can start as low as $2.95 per month with providers like Bluehost, which I've got linked in the description. WooCommerce, WordPress's e-commerce plugin, also comes with costs for extensions, which range from $79 to $299 annually. If you're on a tight budget and don't mind some extra setup, WordPress gives you more control over costs. But if simplicity is key, Squarespace's all-in-one pricing is hard to beat. Let's imagine you're a small boutique owner who just wants an easy way to sell products online. With Squarespace's commerce basic plan, you can start selling right away with without worrying about extra plugins or hosting. But if you're a pretty tech savvy blogger, for example, you might prefer WordPress to keep costs down while customizing your site extensively. Check the description down below for links to Squarespace's free trial and a 10% discount with the code WBE10. When it comes to usability, Squarespace takes the lead. It's one of the easiest platforms I've used. Its drag and drop editor is intuitive and beginner friendly, and you can even let its AI builder do the work if you want to get online fast. You can quickly align elements, add content, and customize your site without worrying about breaking the design. WordPress, on the other hand, has a steeper learning curve. The block editor, Gutenberg, makes things easier, and coding knowledge isn't essential, but it can definitely help you unlock its full potential. Plugins like Elementor can add drag and drop functionality, but it's another layer to manage. If you're a beginner or just want to get online quickly, then Squarespace's editor is the way to go. So say you're a photographer who wants to launch an online portfolio this weekend, Squarespace is the faster, easier option. But if you're comfortable with tech and want to build a highly interactive site, WordPress offers more flexibility at the cost of simplicity. Squarespace's 150 plus free templates are stunning and highly polished. They're perfect for creatives, portfolios, or anyone who wants a professional looking website without a ton of effort. Additionally, Squarespace's Magnum collection, created in partnership with famous photographers and the Blueprint tool, add extra customization and elegance to your design process. WordPress offers thousands of templates, but many are outdated or require payment for premium designs. While there are some gems, you'll need to sift through them carefully. Let's imagine a graphic designer launching their online portfolio. They'd appreciate Squarespace's built-in style and ease of use. On the other hand, a developer creating a custom e-commerce site might prefer WordPress's flexibility. But for creatives who want their site to look amazing right out of the box, Squarespace is the clear winner here. Right, before we move on to our next comparison, I just wanna quickly say that if you're finding this video at all useful, then we have a whole host of other videos to help entrepreneurs build amazing websites. So subscribe to the channel for tips and advice. Blogging is where WordPress really shines. It was built with bloggers in mind, offering tools like post scheduling, categories, tags, multiple authors, and even a strong community for engagement through comments. Plugins like Jetpack and Yoast SEO make WordPress the go-to choice for creating content-heavy sites. Squarespace's blogging features are solid and beginner-friendly, but not as robust as WordPress. While you can schedule posts, set up multiple authors, and organize content, it's better suited for simpler blogs. If you're a travel blogger who writes weekly posts and needs advanced features like SEO optimization and analytics, WordPress is your best bet. But if you're running a small business blog as a side project, Squarespace offers enough to quickly get started. 
Squarespace has excellent built-in features, including analytics, social media integration, and even an AI writing assistant. These tools are ready to use right out of the box, saving you time. WordPress relies on plugins for most features, offering over 59,000 options. This gives you incredible flexibility, but it can also be quite overwhelming. You'll need to research each plugin to ensure quality and compatibility. So a restaurant owner might use Squarespace's built-in tools to display menus and take reservations. Meanwhile, a WordPress user could integrate a custom reservation plugin for more control over bookings. So if you prefer an all-in-one solution, go with Squarespace. But if you want total control and customization, WordPress is unbeatable. Squarespace is built for e-commerce. Its higher tier plans include features like abandoned cart recovery, Instagram product tagging, and even advanced web analytics to help you monitor performance effectively. It's an excellent choice for small business owners who want an easy way to sell online. WordPress can handle e-commerce too, but you'll need to install a plugin like WooCommerce. While WooCommerce is powerful, it can get pricey when you start adding extra features. For example, a jewellery maker could set up their store on Squarespace in hours, leaving them to concentrate on the making, while a developer building a custom online store might prefer WordPress and WooCommerce for its advanced capabilities. For straightforward online selling, Squarespace is the champion. Both platforms excel at SEO, but in different ways. Squarespace offers built-in tools like customizable meta titles and descriptions, automatic sitemaps, and image alt text. It handles most technical SEO for you. WordPress gives you more control over advanced SEO settings, especially with plugins like Yoast. Hosting also plays a role here. With the right provider, you can optimize technical SEO factors like load speed and caching. If you're tech savvy and want to fine tune every detail, then WordPress is the better choice. For beginners, Squarespace is easier to use. A local business wanting basic SEO will thrive on Squarespace, while a tech-savvy blogger targeting competitive keywords will benefit from WordPress's advanced tools. So which platform is best for you? If you're a beginner, a creative, or a small business owner who wants a sleek website without the hassle, Squarespace is your best bet. Everything is included, making it simple and stress-free. Now, if you're tech savvy, have time to tinker, or need advanced blogging or customization options, WordPress is the way to go. It's more work, but the possibilities are endless. So, are you ready to get started? Well, check the links down in the description below for Squarespace's free trial, our 10% discount code WBE10, and resources for WordPress and Bluehost. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below. What platforms are you leaning towards? Let me know. Thanks for watching guys and a happy website building.